Hi, my name is Jose Calero. I'm President and Chief Product Architect of LapWorks Inc. And today I'd like to show you the Mantis support arm. Okay, the Mantis support arm was previously known as the Mantis notebook arm. But since we've added some additional features and accessories to it, um, we're now calling it the Mantis support arm. And you'll understand why as we proceed. First thing is, and the big difference from the, Man from the old unit, the old uh, uh, Mantis uh, uh, notebook arm, the Mantis support arm comes with its own carrying case. It's a sturdy carrying case, it's plastic, and it holds up very well. I'm going to open it now for you. It has these two snaps that you open. And then as you can see, it has all these components here. Um, it has the mouse pad that the previous unit didn't have. Set of instructions. It has some locking tabs. Uh, some of these tightening knobs and some oversized rubber bands which I'll explain later that you can use with these other accessories that we have and then but this is how it comes and it's very sturdy very well it's everything's locked in place uh, in case you uh, are interested in this product as a speaker and you need to travel with this this is a great way to travel it's got everything you need and it's compact I'm going to go ahead and begin setting up the mantis for you and just opening it up and show you how this how we begin the process the first thing we do is we're going to pull out the um, three-part uh, pedestal base and I'm going to loosen these locks this product by the way uh, is made there's no plastic in here it's all aluminum and steel so this thing sets up very quickly and easily the first thing we're going to do however oops let me loosen this First thing we're going to do before we set it up is we're going to have to insert the legs. And these two longer ones will screw in like this. We're not going to break the camera while I do this or the filming because I want you to see what the entire process takes in terms of the amount of time. I'm going to move this over here. Move this back. This is the other one. Now, by the way, I did not work with this in advance. I just took this off of our shelf, brought it into the, our, our filming room, and I am beginning the assembly right from start without having prepped this whatsoever. Sorry for the rattling. And then we're going to set up... Okay, it's tight, tight. Now the other two legs, previously the Mantis notebook arm only had two supports, this and this one. The new, or the Mantis notebook arm, the Mantis support arm has four. And set this up here like this, and screw these in. And screw the second one in. Now you're ready to go. The old unit also had just some um, uh, rubber uh, rings around the ends to give it gripping. This unit now has rubber end caps to give you the kind of stability on the floor so you won't be uh, sliding around. Now the first thing you want to do is set up the first one, tighten it up like this. Well, actually I'm going to set it back a little bit like that. And then this one, I'll turn it, set it up this way. And then set this over like this. Let's see which is the way in. I think this is it. I'll just turn this to tighten it. Okay, now we have the Mantis support arm fully assembled in terms of the pedestal and the base. Now I'm going to turn it this way, sideways, so you can see what I'm going to do next. The next thing to do would be to set up these support fingers. And I don't know if you can see these here, but they have, the old unit had only two sets of these where you were fixed. This has three holes, so you can move it from here to here. So I'm going to go ahead and set this in here. Uh, here are these knobs that I mentioned earlier. Screw them in. 
And these are much easier to, um, to uh, apply than the old system because the old one had some screws that just didn't, they were hard to, to, to screw on. They needed a screwdriver and so on and so forth. These do not, you simply, and they're knobs as you can see. Once we have them in place, tighten them up. All right, and we put in the other one. Now remember I mentioned that this has two settings so we could shorten this and it would actually accommodate uh, the width of an iPad. But I'm gonna put it on the wider setting because I have a notebook here that I wanna show you how it sits, how it works. Thumbs on. And this one's on. So you can see, I'm going to turn sideways here for a second, let you see what we've done here. We have the um, tight, tight, tight. Tight, OK, now we're, they're all in place. Um, so from here, what I'm going to do to show you how this works, I'm going to put on my computer. This is a very heavy 10-pound Toshiba. Screen opens up. The rubber down here protects the unit and keeps it from sliding off. Now, there's, there's to secure this, what this unit provides are these locking fingers. And I'm going to show you how these work. These actually, oops, that's the wrong one. Here's right. This is two components that screw into this plate again. And then it holds down this locking finger. And I'll show you how this works. Let me turn it to you. And screw this in. Everything, you don't need any tools for this anymore, like you used to with the old unit. And we do the same thing here. Remember, this is live time. I want you to realize the amount of time it takes to assemble this. So you don't think that this is going to be super hard. However, let me just share something with you now. This, is, this takes a little getting used to. It's not something you just snap together. I've been working with these for a couple of years, so I'm familiar with it. But you're going to have to learn the center of gravity on this. You're going to have to work with um, a few of the other details that have to do with this and how you set it up. But uh, actually, you know, I think what I did was, after saying I worked with this for a few years, which I have, but these actually have to go to the bottom, like this. There we go. You want to get that on there first? Okay, here we go. Go to the bottom, here. Okay, let me switch this one around. Put from the bottom up. This back in place. Here. All right, so we set our computer in here. Hold your notebook down. You would simply take these, and here I'm going to turn this around carefully so I don't knock this off. You can see how this is holding this down. All you have to do is tighten that up. This one as well, and now you've got a way to hold this so it's not going to fall off. Now this is for notebooks, and that's what these these are for primarily. So I'm going to remove this now. I'll leave them in place. Uh, I should actually take them off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, and by the way, I'm not going to go through a lot of the motions and the setups for this because they're all on the screen. The one thing we do want to caution you on is whenever you are adjusting the, the angle or the incline or the height, 
always remove the device. Don't leave it on there because if you do, uh, you could be making an adjustment and suddenly it becomes top heavy and falls and you've damaged something. I'm putting you on notice. Please do not uh, make any adjustments on this while your device is sitting on top. I hope that's clear. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you is we have, we've made some additional accessories for this product. We have uh, three items, three platforms that I'd like to share with you. The first one is the Mantis iPad Perch. It, has, it comes with two sets of screws that screw into this panel here. And then you can put your iPad on it. We have my iPad with our, doing a little cross-marketing right now, our iPad with our two-loop iPad handle. And let me remove this. And set the iPad on here. Right. Now, this is the smallest we can get this panel because of certain limitations. Once you screw in these screws to lock it down into place, we recommend that you take and line this with one of those uh, no-slip materials that you can buy at your hardware store. There's so many different colors and options and different textures. We didn't pre-line this for you, but we do recommend that you pick up something to line the back of this in order to um, uh, give it a softer cushion. Now, this unit measures 13 and a half inches by 11, so it's 13 and a half this way by 11, and it has a three-quarter inch lip. You can see the lip. And then we have, now this is the perch for the iPad. This is the speaker's lectern. The speaker's lectern attaches the same way, put on the bolts, the two nuts, that come, the bolts that come with it, and you hold it down. And uh, the size of this is 18 and a half this way by 12 with a three quarter inch lip. You can see the lip is a little higher on this. We did that on purpose, depending on what you're putting on it, whether it's gonna be books or whatever. And this is the speaker's lectern. And the third item we have is the musician stand. The musician stand has three clipboard clips across the top. It measures 27 inches this way by 12 inches with a half inch lip. And this attaches the same way with these, these uh, two screws that lock it in place. And um, if I may also say that, to show you how this works, I mentioned that the unit comes with, a, with a, its own mouse pad. If you attach it in this manner, attach the notebook, you have a mouse pad. Now this would be set, you can see that the angle I have here is a little severe for using a mouse pad. There is a little raised area that holds the mouse pad in place, but what you would normally do is, let's see, I have it set at the widest setting. What you normally do is have this in a, not so much of an incline, raise it a little bit so you wouldn't lose your mouse and you let go of it. But the mouse pad also comes with a unit. The, let me just review some of the uh, features of the Mantis support arm. It's aluminum and steel construction completely. It adjusts into dozens of elevations and inclines. It is configurable from floor use. You've seen those on the on our website that this reclines all the way to the floor or up to 52 inches as a speaker stand. Uh, it includes the aluminum mouse pad which is seven inches by seven and a half inches. Uh, the rubber tips on the end for gripping and preventing slipping. Uh, it has the 360 degree base opposed to the 180 degree that the old unit had. Um, the the um, longer legs are 22, 22 and 3 eighths inches long and the, the rear legs are 6 and 3 quarter inches long. Uh, it easily supports up to a 40 pound notebook. This notebook is a Toshiba and it's about 9 or 10 pounds and there's, there's absolutely no problem with this. You want to make sure when you set this up, when you're setting it up with heavy units, that you maintain that center of gravity. Now that we have the two rear legs on the um, Mantis, it is not, like, not as likely to fold back, and it gives you more stability. But you still want to respect that center of gravity. You'll notice that the weight that I have on this almost comes straight down to the bottom, uh, um, the bottom uh, section. So 
always remember to respect that. Uh, it extends up to 52 inches tall, as I said. It also is an excellent stand for the bedridden. You can prop this up next to the bed, cantilever it over the bed, turn it toward the, the person, and they could benefit from it. Uh, the, it has a rigid plastic carrying case. The product weighs 11 pounds in the case, and it ships at 12 pounds, I believe. It does not swivel, so don't try to swivel it because it just doesn't swivel. And if you do, you're going to break that the, the uh, relationship of the center of gravity. So you want to make sure that if you want to reposition this, that you're always focusing on the center of gravity and the base supports, not to extend beyond that. And um, I do want to remind you that the three platforms that I mentioned are all separate, but they can be purchased on our website along with the Mantis. Um, we hope that you benefit from this video. We think it's a terrific product. It has so many functions and versatilities. You can use it to support an iPad over a counter, over your desk. Um, you can use it while sitting in your easy chair, in a sofa. There's almost um, infinite uses for this product depending on how you want to use it. So thank you very much for your time and we hope that you come back and visit us. Have a great day.